I might be a little bit late to the party, but we are right back into Farming Simulator 18. I do remember playing Farming Simulator 16 and recording a video, but I never ended up uploading it. But here we are, two years on, and we are rocking and rolling with Farming Simulator 18. I'm looking forward to actually playing this a little bit on the channel, and we'll see how it'll go, of course. Now, I started pretty much on YouTube playing, I was one of the very first people playing Farming Simulator 11 on my other main channel i guess now i guess this is my main channel now but anyways welcome to your new farm attend your fields and invest the money earned in new tools exchange the crops for money at selling points and buy new fields to expand your farm now to be quite honest this game looks so amazing and it almost i'd say looks better than farming simulator 11 like in farming simulator 08 and 09 or whatever it was but man looking forward to actually playing this we have the header over here on a trailer which is also very new and interesting let's go ahead and drive slowly and attach oh okay i guess the trailer just magically disappeared but let's go ahead and click this which i assume turns on the header there we go let's drive a little bit and i guess i don't need to lower it okay now i am used to playing this on the pc which enables well gives us many many more options but I'm pretty happy with the way things are going at the moment. It seems like we might be able to go a little bit faster than that. There we go. There we go. Now we're picking up speed at 8 kilometers an hour. I'm assuming it's using kilometers. Let's go ahead and turn around. Now I'm not doing this all that professionally. But that's alright. Alright, that should be good. So it seems like he's going at his own set pace which is great and i'm hoping you'll just keep on doing that but if i click this just call the helper and he will do your work beautiful while helpers will help you to save time they cost money of course i think we're gonna have a close look at the details the game does look very very impressive i must say so let's have a look at what else we've got over here we've got the ability to plow here as well so let's go reverse after harvesting, you must use a cultivator to prepare the field for sowing. Make sure you remove all the stubble to get an even seabed. Seabed. Righto. Let's go do that. Let's get on top of this field then. Not quite sure how the map looks, but it uh, seems like we'll be able to have some sheep over here because we've got that trailer to pick it all up. Let's go ahead and put the machine down. Like so. There we go. Got to get used to all these controls though. Cool. Probably would be an idea to drive a little bit straighter than that, is it? Yeah, I guess that's the best way to go around and do it. So I definitely do want to make this a series. Something that I've been actually been wanting to do, but I thought I kind of missed the boat because I was like a day or two late on actually getting the game. And I thought, oh, everyone's going to be playing it. But I guess there's not really all that many people playing it. There's one guy that is playing it and he's absolutely killing it. Like, I mean, it was a pretty small, no commentary kind of channel, just playing the game. And uh, his channel blew up, so decided clearly there's a bit of a demand for it. So, I'll try my luck. I've got to say, I do like the graphics, how they change as well once we've driven over. The stubble on the ground. Probably could be going a little bit faster at that too. Come back here and try to finish this row. Seems like we'll have to come back again, unfortunately. That's all right with me. you got to do something. All right, so... We're doing a fairly decent job so far. Thankfully, it won't take too long. Hopefully, you do make a lot of money as well. Now, even though this is a premium game, what you can do is you can actually buy again with real money. Um, you can buy in-game currency which of course you could just get by playing the game but if you want to unlock everything really quickly you need to pay real money for it or you could just use hacks which i might actually show you guys how to do for those of you that want to do that so we're about halfway through the field which is a pretty solid effort i'm going to hire this um work and hopefully he'll know what to do what else do we have over here Seems like we are failing to harvest that properly, but we've got another tractor. 
That's great. That'll come in handy. And that's it. Okay. I'm really hoping this guy will know to carry on. We'll have to wait and see. So tip is transport grain either to your silos for storage or to a selling point for sale. Check the prices screen in the options menu to find out where you might get the best deal. Okay. So what we've got to do, let's just change back. Here we go. The common harvester is full. What I wanted to check is, is there any easy way to see how full the combine harvester is? No, not really. Okay. I don't think so anyway. So we're going to drive by very close up over here. Let's just make sure we angle the camera right. Using your trailer, you can either sell the grain at a selling point or store it in the storage silos. Follow the green dots to sell your grain at the selling point. Okay, we might as well do that. They've given us a time trial. I'm not sure why that is. I'm going to go all the way around here. There we go. Now I can pick up a bit of speed. Um, should be looking at where the road is as well. Now, what I'd love to do is be able... I'm um, going completely the wrong way, aren't I? That's embarrassing. Okay, well, at least I know where this guy is. He's right here. I wonder what happened if we jumped off the edge there. I'd rather not think about it. Oh, so where do they want us to go down here? What's down here? I don't think that's a very good idea. No, it's not. That's for sure. It's down the cliffs. There we go. Game does look very, very nice. Yeah, so what I did say is I'd love to be able to play this on um, like a full 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So like there's no black bars on the side of the screen. Uh, but unfortunately... I don't really have that option available to me at the moment. I, I mean, I've got my phone, which unfortunately the cables for it, like the, the lightning connector doesn't really fit all that well. Now, where am I going? I am just driving like an absolute madman, which is pretty much stock standard for me. But I'm gonna go ahead and sell it where they want me to sell it. What if I tap on the eight minutes and a half? Nothing happens. All oh, right, at the top it says 79%. So we're 79% full. I see. And of course you've got petrol to worry about too. Let's get over to that windmill. Wonder what would happen if you hit um, do this automatically. Hire a worker. Oh, and then you can select the destination. So it's very much automated. That's very cool. We're gonna have to zoom out here. And he does it himself, okay. Nicely done, from time to time, I will give you special missions. For now, start cultivating and sowing your fields. If you need any help during the game, open the manual from the game menu. All right, we'll do. All right, we've got a fair amount of money, so. He's not gonna drive himself, is he? No, he's not. All right, so that's enough of that. Let's click on the map if we're able to here. Um, does it show us what fields we own? Yeah, okay. I think we own grass on one and then wheat on the other, it seems like. That's how it is. What's this flame? A biogas plant. Okay, that makes sense. We've got seeds which we can pick up, fertilizer. Very nice. We've got guides. Okay, I really like what they've done with this game, though. Very impressive. All right, now, how are you going there, friends? Still got a bit of uh, work to do over here. There we go. Let's get rid of the map there. I'm hoping you'll know he needs to straighten himself out. Oh, the AI seems to know what it's doing, sort of. Go straighten yourself out. That'll do. Okay, fantastic. That works. And this guy. He's done a decent job too. Not perfect yet, but... He's done a decent job. Alright, so... Let's put that down. I like how the trucks get dirtier as well. 
very similar to the PC version. Unfortunately, Giants um, Software, the guys that make this game and that are behind the series, what they were doing previously is they were releasing um, like the PC farming simulator version every two years, biannually. And then they were releasing like a unique simulation game. So they were doing, I think, um, like a snow simulator. Yeah, I think it was just called Snow Simulator or Snow Park Simulator. That was very fun, but unfortunately they seem to have stopped that. Uh, let's go reverse here. And angle ourselves in the best way possible. Um, and now, what else is there for us to do? Because this guy's all done. Let's go to the shop. Maybe we'll be able to get something. It seems like it's all very, very expensive. For the most part, we've got... I think we've got sewing machines. That's an interesting question. Do we have sewing machines? Surely we must. Yeah, there it is. So what I'm going to do is lift this up. And get onto that sewing machine. Is this the right way? Oh no, okay. <laughs> That's embarrassing, you gotta do it the other way. I think, yeah, I think you do have to put it on the other way. Let's just straighten ourselves up. So all we need to do is reverse into it. There we go. With the sewing machine, you can plant grain on a cultivated field. Tap the seed icon in your action bar to switch seed type. The field can be harvested once the crops have turned a golden yellow or a rich brown in the case of canola. Crops will spoil if left for too long. After they ripen, be sure to harvest them. Yes, yes. Pretty standard stuff. Oh, even tire marks. Uh, so which, which crops do we want? Let's go sunflower seeds. I like the sound of that. Almost got more seeds than the PC version. All right, we'll hire a worker. Have a look at him do his thing. Very nice. Now, I think we might be able to go, no. I thought in some settings, there'd be some options where we're able to um, like have a bit more freedom with the plant growth settings, but clearly not or the crop growth settings. But I think that's going to be it for the very first episode of Farming Simulator 18. Something a little bit different on this channel, but it's something that I do want to keep on keeping on. Till next time, though, guys, I'll see you later very, very soon.